Hi guys, so I'm going to right now record uh, my screen how I'm doing similar pictures. I posted yesterday on Facebook, uh, so many people like that. So um, I'm going to show you step by step how I'm doing it so you can do it by yourself. You can learn it, it's uh, relatively easy. Um, first, you need to understand that uh, to get good, great, or exceptional results. Uh, will depend not only on your skills but on your tools as well the tools is very important to getting results so I like the example of uh, axe and hammer uh, with both tools you can chop the tree down but with the hammer it will take like 30 days and with the axe maybe an hour or half hour I don't know how big is the tree so you can get pretty much uh, job done with uh, with many tools but the best, thing, you know, best, best thing is to search for the best tools and, and know how to use that so let's go <coughs> uh, this picture is actually uh, a compilation of five pictures uh, all together with um, different uh, exposition you can see it here that uh, I have uh, some pretty mm, normal looking darkish very very bright pictures they look like the same the thing is I was really holding my camera pointing on very very same direction that's very important uh, for best result you should really use tripod however if you don't have a uh, um, this uh, possibility or you don't have a trapper with you you don't have a time uh, it's just a matter of practice how to find the best way how to shoot um, handheld so I'm using for my Canon camera special software where I can set up how many pictures and with what which difference I want to shoot these these different uh, exposition uh, pictures so I have right now setting and I'm using five pictures uh, this is this one is normal and one and a half steps less so the one and a half step uh, one and a half stop uh, steps so if this is a normal this is a one and a half less this is three less this is oh, this is normal I don't know how but never mind it's all these things so why why I'm doing it because the camera has no possibility of uh, capturing uh, so much dynamic range as a human eye there's a certain limitation so we basically uh, came up with this solution to compensate this um, this weakness of the camera so basically what I'm going to do with this software um, I'm going to put stitch these five pictures together and uh, this intention and special software will detect which uh, which details are like in, in this for example we have a we have a quite good mountains well it's a little bit maybe even this one is always expos uh, this exposition to to high maybe I've got the mountain so the software can use data from just from this area this is absolutely white you know it's too too bright so uh, all this area will be will be used from let's say this this picture all right so um, uh, let's go do that <coughs> so I've got already started here uh, Photoshop is Photoshop C5 C6 sorry and I'm using this very handy Nick software selector Nick software well where is it going I don't want that uh, very handy very good so let's go for merge you can do it in Photoshop as well you can find pretty much same thing I show you later here in the menu I'm just starting already so what I'm going to do I'm going to find my folder put a new folder here so I'm going to do select <coughs> uh, five picture 
from the first shot. Alright. One is the same, 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 same. Now it's this one's different, yeah. This one's different, so I this open. Yeah, it's here. So now let the computer work. This is why it is here. <coughs> so a few more things about these pictures. I I shoot them in pure manual mode for a very simple reason uh, because you know automatic you never know what what's camera doing in in automatic mode um, you can change you know um, color balance it did it, it happen to me and uh, then result is not really good so what I do always set a set a manual mode so uh, none of the of the original setting will change during the shooting is five shots what you need to get these five shots yeah the camera was set to follow very same procedure just different different time um, 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 different time of uh, exposition okay so we've got already here something this part is about ghost image reference you know if like every image is slightly different because uh, obviously it's constant movement in the nature so I'll I'll just pick maybe maybe this one let's see how is it going no I don't like this one I like this one because there's more wave on the on the on the shore yeah I like this one so now the software will be aligning everything else towards this picture it's very very handy doesn't matter what we need to do here. Let's go create HDR. <coughs> Working. Cool. So we've got basic, basic picture. It's quite similar already what we have here, isn't it? Okay. So now it's quite important to record all the settings what I'm going to place here on the everything what I can adjust in this software and why it's very simple because I have a three picture of those and I'm going to stitch them together. So if this picture is 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 uh, different in composition and different in in uh, brightness then the panorama wouldn't be would there will be there will be jump in the between between one picture and another so it wouldn't be looking naturally so and because I, I shoot everything in um, manual mode so the very same very same setting applied to another pictures another another two HDR photographies made for this beach panorama will deliver same results all right so same setting same results let's see what we're gonna do here so it's what you can see it's quite um, it's quite uh, darkish so let's put the exposition on yeah Mm -hmm. A little bit more, or maybe not. So, and now I'm going to write this down. If I had a pen, what I have, so I'm going to write this down. So, exposition 31%. Okay. Uh, highlights. Uh, highlights will adjust. You can see maybe, maybe not. Yeah, it will adjust. Just uh, very high, very bright places. Maybe 
Oh, we leave it on zero, maybe. Come on. Okay, let's just finish to zero. Shadows. Do we need to do something with the shadows? Maybe. Put it more, more contrasty. Yes, yeah, so minus, minus 25. The display, so here we go, we see the details. So this is, yeah. And here this piece is on the beach. There's rocks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, second adjustment will be shadow and to is minus 25. And I'm going to play with the blacks, not with the whites. Structure, yeah, structure is I think quite important because it will give this dramatic look. So this hey, yeah, picture yeah so we can this is over blast maybe yeah well somebody like it somebody don't um i'm always as well saying every anybody who's showing these uh make your own like your own style and you don't have to do what i'm doing i'm definitely not doing exactly what anybody else i'm just showing how to how to play with that how to look for that for the solution okay so let's say for me this one is is just pleasant. So let's put a structure uh, st structure forty five percent. Okay, we've got this now. Color, color, color. Um, saturation. Let's see. We're going to saturate something. Yes, however, we will in a later process in Photoshop as well. So let's do this. Let's do this like this. Let's do this 25% maybe. Not too much. Yes, let's give it 25% um, on, on saturation. Saturation 25%. Yeah, I'm writing down to remember. Okay, what else? Uh, nothing of these, nothing of these we're not going to play. Um, 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 um. Yeah, let's see what we can do. Yeah, I like that. I, I like that for the moment, of course. There will be more to do. So, we have everything with me now. Let's play the okay. So, now it's gonna. gonna process it to Photoshop, let's wait. Um, is it already there? So here we go. Now let's look at so what are we gonna do now? As you see I had no tripod and it, it is linear inclinated to what left. So we going to we going to you know what for the moment we're not going to inclinate let's see let's see what panorama software will do we can still adjust it later and what i'm going to do with this picture is see better so here's adjustment and vibrance. I like vibrance instead of saturation. I don't know what the different way, I don't know description, but it's definitely different. So we give this very rich colors and drama to the picture. Uh, because it was a very great day. Uh, so you see it's, it's really like 90% is really high. However, we still can get decent pictures from it, decent colors. Uh, about this, yep. Hold on, how much it was? Ninety-three. I need to, I need to write it down. Let me do this again. Ninety, ninety-five. Okay, yeah, let's let's like no no ninety slightly less. We still can adjust it on the final. 